Here we are guys, the Everest 10. I got the BEC wired in. I think it's right. I took the positive wire off from my electronic speed control harness to the receiver because it don't need power from there anymore. I wired the positive and the negative from the BEC off the power in wires from the battery. So this is going to draw constant from your battery. So if you're running one of these setups, I highly recommend you use one of these voltage checkers or low voltage alarms. I am the worst about being neglectful when using my lipo batteries. I charge them on carpet and cardboard boxes and shit. And they don't always store them properly. Well, never really. They haven't burnt my house down yet. But since this is going to put a constant draw on that battery, I highly recommend you run an alarm. I haven't actually plugged this in yet. I haven't put one of these units together in a really long time. So I'm hoping the whole fucking thing doesn't go up in smoke. Or if it does, I hope it makes for an entertaining video. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I want to be touching the fucker. Oh, I see flashing blue light. Uh-oh. Um, it's not working. Well, what the fuck? Uh, I was afraid of that. I don't think I'm getting enough juice. That sucks. Hmm. I'm not sure what the red light means. Being a hobby wing thing, the manual isn't all that helpful. Did I completely lose power to the fucking thing? Don't plug it. Plug it back in. Hmm. Something's not right. Is this a jumper? Well, epic failure. I'll get back to you, I guess. Fucker. <laughs>